Hi, this is Lynn Suzek, and this is the Video Church. I have been a little a couple weeks without doing my video um, because I've been intensely involved in um, new information for myself, and um, I wanted to share as much as I could. Um, I've been in contact with, and I'm going to promote um, Tony Myers who has been healed of ALS which is also involves paralysis which I deal with and um, he has it's been a few years that he's been healed but the um, thing that's similar between he and I many things are similar between he and I one is that he he's dealt with paralysis and been healed and his book is called The Lord Jesus Healed Me. He used to be an atheist and it's about being coming to salvation and being healed. And he was uh, miraculously actually living beyond what he could have. Um, he could have died from it and he miraculously continued to live uh, under the miracle of it wasn't like, kind of like what I say about myself. He was living for months beyond where he would have died because he wasn't eating. He couldn't eat. His stomach was paralyzed. His throat was paralyzed. And they were giving him like 150 calories a day of drops of food that was probably not even being digested. And so he was a living miracle even though he wasn't healed. And that's kind of how I say about myself. Like when you see me doing this, this is, I'm paralyzed um, from the chest down. My hands are, it's, I'm a quad, to, so to speak, uh, C6 quad. And I um, believe, you know, as I minister to others and my husband and I have ministered healing to others. And so we know a lot about healing and how faith works and we've seen a lot and done a lot of prayer successful healing with people and I blog a lot okay I have over a hundred blogs and it's lynnshealingroom.com well I have been learning so much myself and then teaching and blogging things that I believe God has shown me and then I not really heard them from very many other people or maybe nobody about some of the things that I've blogged on there so check out lenshealingroom.com and Tony Tony Myers who has been um, he's on YouTube I I came in contact with him and he and I have been uh, connecting and talking about what we've been learning um, as ministries very amazing you know uh, what we're learning okay so try to actually say something here in a minute <laughs> give you the background um, this the thing as we're talking and chatting and texting about some you know what God has been showing and he's been helping kind of coach me he, uh, the things that I want to share are that have been helpful to me um, he, he was like I said for months not eating and still living okay so I've said before I am experiencing miracles uh, because I'm not deteriorating like I could be with the paralysis I'm you know and I've mentioned things like that before and so there's so much to um, realize what's going on when you are looking for your miracle and one of the main things I'll say I'll share today that he has shared with me is to keep first thing he says is to uh, to watch for improvement 
every minute of the day expect and watch for improvement and if you don't see any you're just missing it that's very helpful um, he you know first thing he likes to do and I'll say the same thing in the name of Jesus be healed you're healed and one of the things that um, you need to know is that Jesus died and paid for our sins and our sicknesses and our diseases we've been redeemed from the curse and so all the curses that we are experiencing are a lie and so I believe that too but what I also would say is that what we're experiencing that that seems like sickness and disease or injury that won't be healed is not true and the reason I believe that is I've gotten confirmation about that um, so what our bodies are are doing is something other than the truth we're actually healed and our bodies can manifest wrong things almost like by pretend and I'm going to prove that in a minute there's so much to share it's like what <laughs> okay I am experiencing paralysis years ago when I was being prayed for and seeking healing somebody one of the things that happened is somebody was praying for me and she said you're not God saying to me you're not really paralyzed you just think you are and I I didn't uh, get offended by that I said oh okay and I kept took, taking it to the Lord and asking him what is what do I do you know if I'm not really paralyzed so this was something I hung on to and I remember when he said, you know, we're not really sick. It's a lie because Jesus actually paid for our sins and our sicknesses and our diseases and infirmities and they've been blotted out. You know, they we've been healed. So we're not supposed to be sick and we're not really sick. And that is a revelation that um will change people being sick faster than receive your healing okay that's how I look at it so I believe I'm not really paralyzed even though I am definitely you know experiencing that but the reason I can say that just to finish up this video and to actually say something that you can grab on to Tony has a book, The Lord Jesus Healed Me by Tony Myers, and that's his testimony. And then he's got another one coming out, which I won't say much about, but I, he and I are connecting about what he's writing because it's, it's going to help people like me and other people that fit into the category of, I already know about healing, I'm actually doing it, I've received a lot of healings. But I'm still suffering from something and so this is kind of, uh, I'm promoting that book before it gets it's not published yet so um, where I was going with that is he I'll share one of the things he's shared with me about our brain our brain which this answers a lot of questions I've had and I'm like, oh, I can, I can, I can believe this. We used to think Satan was doing things to our bodies, and how is he doing it? And as I, he, Tony shares a revelation about it being our brain, our brain specifically can, like a computer. manifest into our bodies 
things that aren't true, okay? And uh, I'm just going to share this one thing because I don't want to confuse. I don't want to just keep going on and on. When you have um, things happen to you, either to, or just when you when you let's just say, for example, if you were to watch a commercial or a program about sickness, you could people know this is true. Start to manifest those symptoms, and people say, "Oh, it's all in your head." Well, it is, but it could start manifesting in your in your body you could start experiencing sickness a disease that you've you know studied or seen on TV what you focus on can start to happen in your body and it's also I would say in my words like a parrot if you had ever had a bird a parakeet or parrot in your house it starts to listen and starts to just imitate sounds like the phone and things that it hears over and over. Well, your brain is something that can that takes in information and manifests it out of your body. We wonder why sometimes you can have a cell phone vibrating on your hip that you've been you've had in your pocket and after so many days of that happening, you can start to feel the vibration happening when it's not really happening. And like my Fitbit, my Fitbit um, vibrates as an alarm. And a few days ago, it started to vibrate. My, my wrist was vibrating as if my Fitbit was vibrating all day and I knew it wasn't I had to and that was when I was learning about this uh, brain is is responsible for false information the brain can create false information in your body and what you have to do is believe that you're the truth it is across the board we're healed already and we're we're well can you die from false information yes people have been known to die from false information from believing that they're freezing to death when they're really not because they were locked in a freezer that they thought was you know gonna freeze them to death and then it turns out the freezer wasn't even plugged in and they died because they believed they were dying and so you can manifest things that are not true and believe and actually die from things that you don't have to so I'm not dying but I am manifesting this paralysis that happened to me by an injury I understand that that seems like you know but things heal your bodies heal so all these all these people that are paralyzed from an injury I know that the neck got broken in the back or whatever and the spinal cord got damaged but it's that should heal that should all heal and you go back to being not paralyzed I'm blowing the lid off paralysis here Spinal, spinal cord injuries are a lie. We're supposed to get healed from these things. Our bodies heal. And I've had several things happen to me that, sh that I was told afterwards wouldn't heal, and they did. And I have blogs about that. Things that are not, oh, that doesn't heal. Oh, what do you mean it doesn't heal? Our bodies are supposed to heal. And they do. Because we've been redeemed from the curse. And Jesus had redeemed us. In fact, I'm not this far along yet, but I'm going to be quickly. Tony and other people I know have injured themselves and seen in minutes it reverse. You, the faster you believe this, the more you believe it, the, the more you see it happen. And that's all for today because I can't go over 15 minutes because um, it won't. I'll have, I'll have trouble uploading it. But that's amazing information, and I'll. See you next time.